welcome to our video tutorial for this rabbit ears necktie that you can see Malibu wearing here. I hope you enjoy it. Please like, share and subscribe and hope to catch you soon. Thanks. Bye. To make this necktie you'll need some yarn. I'm using this one here which um, is one of my favorites to use actually. I really like this yarn. It's a 100% cotton and you can see it's this beautiful sort of muted light blue, grayish blue color. Um, you can use whatever yarn you like. If you use a finer weight yarn to this one, this is a medium weight yarn. If you use a finer weight yarn, you'll get a smaller necktie, a finer finer look to your ne necktie. If you use something more bulky than this one, obviously you'll get a bulkier necktie. You'll need a crochet hook that corresponds to your yarn. I'm using 4.5 millimeter. You'll need a darning needle to weave in your ends, some scissors to snip your ends, and you'll need a tape measure to get an idea of the circumference of your cat's neck. Okay, so to make this necktie, you'll need to know really only very basic techniques. It's a, definitely a beginner-friendly project. You'll need to know how to slip knot onto your hook, how to chain, how to single crochet, single crochet decrease, and then you'll need to know... Oh, it's very grubby already. Melba's been wearing this one outside already. Forgive me. Um, so you'll need to know from there how to weave in your ends. So super simple absolutely beginner friendly project and let's get started okay so start with a slip knot onto your hook however you do that and then we're going to start off with a chain two okay so for this first row we're going to place a single crochet into that second chain from the hook so just one single crochet we're going to chain one and turn now in this one single crochet we're going to place two single crochets. So this is row two. So two single crochets. And then we're going to chain one and turn. Two single crochets in that first stitch. So a single crochet increase. And then just in that last stitch one single crochet chain one and turn a single crochet increase in that first stitch so two single crochets in that first stitch and then in the last two stitches just one single crochet in each of those so we've done we've increased to four stitches so we're going to keep increasing two more rows to, to for a total of six stitches so chain one and turn place two single crochets in that first stitch in the last three stitches just one single crochet chain one and turn and this will be our last increase row so we'll get to six stitches so two single crochets in that first stitch and then in the last four, just one single crochet. And then we're going to just do three rows of six single crochets. So just one single crochet in each stitch, stitch. So chain one and turn. And for three rows, just place one single crochet into each stitch in your row. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this one off and then I'm going to do two more rows and I'll come back and meet you once I'm done with those those next two rows. Okay so I've done my three rows there without any increase or decrease and then we're going to start to decrease so chain one and turn and we're going to decrease these first two stitches together. So I'll show you how to do that. So insert your hook, pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Oops, excuse me, let's start that again. Insert your hook, pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. And then yarn over, pull through all three stitches. So that gives you a single crochet decrease in those first two stitches. In the next 
four stitches you'll just do single crochets one in each stitch and then chain one and turn so basically what we're just going to do here is decrease down to two stitches okay so we're going to do that same thing again so single crochet decrease in those first two stitches and then one single crochet each in each of the last three stitches in that row chain one and turn once again a single crochet decrease in those first two stitches single crochets in the last two so one single crochet in each of the last two stitches chain one turn we're going to single crochet decrease in these first two and then one in the last stitch so we've decreased down to two stitches so here's where we create the this center area here okay which is the the part that goes around your cat's neck so this is where you'll have to work out what size you need to make so we're just going to be doing chain one and turn one single crochet in each of those two stitches chain one and turn and then just doing that to the length that you need for your cat's neck circumference so Melba's neck circumference is around 23 and a half centimeters so I did for this one and it may have stretched a little bit but I'll let you know how much I did for this one if I can just find my tape measure I'll hang on a minute I'll be right back sorry about that it fell on the floor um, I've made this 29 centimeters okay and that gives me plenty of room to make a little tie and um, you know allow for her neck circumference so you'll keep going to the size that you need and I'm going to do the same with what I did before so let's say if your cat's neck circumference is 24 centimeters like Melba I would add about five centimeters onto that measurement of course before you start creating this second rabbit ear part you can check it on your cat and make sure that it's the right length that you want okay so keep going and I'll meet you back when I've done up to my 29 centimeters in length so I'll see you soon okay so I've made my um, collar part of this necktie as long as I want it to be for Melba so that's around 29 centimeters so just to reiterate if you're not sure please just test this on your cat make sure that you have enough to tie it um, you may want to just tie it in a single tie or you may want to make a simple knot so I just tend to um, let me just show you on this previous one so what I tend to do when Melba's wearing this is I just do a simple little loop over like that and that that's fine for her it doesn't come undone so I'm going to stop there with that length so you you know you work out where you need it to be and then we're going to move on and create obviously the opposite end bunny ear so we're just going to do what we did down on at the beginning but we're going to we're starting with two stitches this time we're just going to once again increase to our six so chain one and turn place your two single crochets as your increase in that first stitch and then chain oh, sorry excuse me <laughs> jumping the gun so two single crochets in that first stitch and then one single crochet in the last stitch chain one and turn and then increasing in that first stitch again and then in the last two stitches one single crochet each so there we've increased to four stitches so two more rows two more increases placing two single crochets in that first stitch and then one in each of the last three and then one final increase to give us our six stitches as we had before so chaining one and turn and then 
then one in each of the last four. So there we have our six stitches once again. And we're just going to do what we did before. We're going to do the next three rows with just one single crochet in each stitch along. So you go ahead and do that. I'm going to pause here and finish off my next uh, three rows. And I'll see you back and we'll decrease together. Okay, so I've done my three rows of just one single crochet in each stitch. Six stitches across. So now we're just going to do our decreases again, just as we did before. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through all three, and then one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. And four, chain one, turn. So repeating this process just to decrease down to the pointy part of the bunny ear. Chain one and turn. So just keep decreasing in those first two stitches in each row. And of course we're eventually going to end up with one stitch. We're just going to decrease right down to create the opposite side. So we're decrease. We've got two 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 stitches left there. We're going to decrease in both of those, and we've got one stitch left. And I just place a single crochet in that last stitch, and then yarning over and pull through. Snipping off your end. So you can see how super quick and simple this is. So all that's left to do is to weave in our ends. So just take your darning needle and thread with one of your ends. And I'll show you on one side and then I'll do the other side off camera. So you just want to, the, really the thing is here that you just want to be careful not to um, misshape your end. And you want to work your work your tail end in so you've got you know so it looks kind of even on on each end. So I just I like to leave a little pointy bit at the end, and then yeah, just be careful not to pull too tight because you will you will misshape the the end there, the little point there. So just weave in your end into your stitches, just so it's secure and it's hidden. I'm just doubling back. So when you double back, just never double back exactly under the same stitch because it will just unravel, obviously, and that's going to be fine for me. I'm just going to snip off that excess. And then I'm going to do the same off camera on the other end. So I'll meet you back and we'll finish off together. Okay, so there is your necktie with little bunny ears on the end. So as you can see and as you've just experienced it's a super simple completely beginner friendly. I think it looks kind of cute and stylish and I uh, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. So please send along your photos of your cat wearing his or her necktie to catventurous.community at gmail.com. You can also tag us on social media catventurous.crochet. So thanks very much for being here and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye! Baby. Mm -hmm.